Well, um, it's been a great honor to be involved in all these projects and work with this amazing team. And something I've seen um, in terms of a change in practice is Marin, West Marin has always been deeply collaborative, um, but it's at a level now that really pushes um, pushes things forward in a way that I've you know never experienced before um, in Marin and also you know nationally. Um, where things are things happen much quicker, and I think that's because of the role of funding. You know, like Maria said, Sarah Hobson being at the table at the kindergarten action team table meant that she was deeply involved in understanding the what the preschool directors were articulating, um, which I think enabled her to move quickly um, and to be find the support that was needed. Um, you know, also the community leaders. Um, I want to bring us back to where we started, um, which was talking about, you know, the integral role of the family advocates. And Christina, I know whenever I need an answer to a question about what families need, I can call Christina, Daphne, Belandra, and we're going to hear as if we're talking to the families, and they'll also make sure the families are there <laughs> and at the forefront and able to provide us with the guidance and actions that we need. And that's been critical. And also just um, the mindset shift, which is that we're stronger together. Um, and that has been really um, amazing to see it happen, to have you know, philanthropy, the county, libraries, school districts, um, the backbone team all working together in, in alignment for the same goal, which is to support you know, he healthy families and a healthy community. And West Marin, that I think has been really transformative um, for me, <laughs> and I think for the group as well and the community to see us together um, and moving, you know, moving these monumental shifts in systems um, to just better serve families in the community and just, you know, deep gratitude to be a part of all of it um, and just so grateful.